All right, welcome to this full moon report for July 1st. My name is Athen. So we've got a full moon in Sagittarius. This is, of course, for sidereal astrology, different from most of what you find online. Uh, this is where the full moon is actually taking place in the constellation of Sag, conjuncting up to Pluto, which is about transformation and change. So here, this whole lunar cycle, you know, towards this uh, full moon time this week is about change. And the change is to our philosophy, to our life path, to our life view in general. And so the more willing we are to change and the more non-attached we are to these uh, Sagittarius energies, uh, the more we're in flow with this uh, full moon energy. So uh, things are certainly going to be changing with the outlook on how we see things in life in general. Uh, this is going to be specific to each of you individually. So do check your weekly and monthly horoscopes for more information on this. But uh, generally, for all of us, lots of changes to the outlooks on life. So um, Pluto's non-attachment, and through that non-attachment, we find that flow. Now, that uh, conjunction is also opposing up to that conjunction we've had for quite some time now with Mars and the Sun now recently going into Gemini, which is about our ideas. So while it's been, you know, this very assertive energy about ideas or about the practical day-to-day -day stuff, which is Gemini, our thinking has been very direct, very self perhaps oriented. It's very important to not go to any extremes because um, all oppositions, including the full moon is about balance. And um, it usually tends to, you know, any, uh, Tense energy like this tends to bring out, sometimes, depending on your personal chart, the uh, qualities of the planet that are unbalanced. So here Mars likes things now, wants things now, wants to be very direct, very aggressive in nature. So it's very important that especially with ideas, because this is the idea and wisdom axes of the chart, that we remain grounded with that, we find the middle path, but still asserting ourselves in that healthy way in terms of what's important to us, in terms of maybe even putting in this active energy into the life path stuff to facilitate that change, to make the change because we're will willing to and we want it. So that's one way of working with Mars in that balanced sense and just simply not going to any extremes there. Um, and especially with Pluto too, not going to any extremes of just tearing down the whole project, tearing down the whole thing and starting from scratch, although sometimes that's necessary. Um, with the full moon, I think it's important to keep things nice and balanced balanced and, um, you know, transform, but also constructively one step at a time. So this opposition, this full moon, you know, conjunction, double conjunction here is going to be the highlight. But um, with it, we also have some other aspects. It's going to be sextiling up to Neptune, which is quite nice, which signifies basically a flow of it and a willingness to trust and have faith that everything is changing and how it's supposed to and that there is that energy that is available. So uh, that is nice. I think that's supportive and uh, trusting, having faith and all of that will be a nice quality to bring into it. Now the full moon is also squaring up to the north node, reminding us that this whole life path of the year in general for all of us is about self-improvement, is about growth, is about taking care of our health, our diet, our routine, developing our work and our crafts, our crafts at work as well. So uh, important consideration with this too is to bring conscious energy to that. How can we improve? How can we grow? And perhaps release some old connotations and ideas relating to, you know, spirituality or relaxation or escaping or fantasizing, things like that, which has been seen from so the South no transiting Pisces. I say that because the full moon is squaring up to both positions, of course, because they are opposite the north and south nodes. So uh, constructive here when we're wanting to grow, wanting to change, wanting to self-improve and release any old uh, concepts relating to spirituality in general. So this full moon is going to be forming up um, some aspects uh, just by their very nature, because Mars is involved and the Sun is involved. Uh, the Sun will be trining up to Neptune for the next couple days. So there is that flow with self-expression and things relating to that. Mars squaring up to the North Node, reminding us that there is energy to put into those uh, life path things. Do check out uh, the Sidereal Birth Chart Calculator down below in the description if you don't know what your North Node placement is, because that's very important for life path in general. It's uh, Rahu and Ketu in Vedic Astrology. But um, yeah, constructive here and intent is very important toward, towards that in a balanced way, of course. That Venus conjunction with Jupiter still very active in the sky 
going exact in the morning at 0350 Eastern Standard Time. And um, so this is about expansion in Jupiter, which is about wisdom, expanding our view of relationships, of values, of the things we enjoy and are connected to in life is where we'll be gaining perhaps a lot of this um, understanding and wisdom, which comes from Jupiter ruled by Sagittarius. So perhaps some opportunities there with that as well. But um, as you can see, middle part of the day, that's when these uh, square and oppositions go into effect. So I think a strong consideration with those energies there. And then the full moon will be going exact at 2219 Eastern time uh, for those of us in the States quite late. Uh, for those of you in Europe, pretty much in the morning. And then uh, for those of you in Australia, it'll be on uh, July 2nd. So very, uh, very transformational uh, full moon, certainly about the uh, axes of wisdom, of intellect, of understanding, of asserting our ideas, of understanding more about our life path and life view, things of that nature. But finding the balance, finding the harmony, you know, especially about the practical and realistic side of things, which is Gemini wanting to be brought into the picture. And likewise, you know, if we're just very rational in nature, bringing in the expansive, bringing in the possibilities and even that optimism, perhaps in that our life path is changing for the better. So have a nice uh, full moon, everyone. If you have any questions, please let me know and I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Take care.